About 13 years ago, I decided to build my own film and television studio so that I could become fully independent through creating and, distrib and distributing my content. And my studio is about two and a half hours from here south in a place called Petersburg, Virginia, which is about 70% black and uh, known for, uh, I think, Fort Lee is this big, big known thing there. Uh, when I started the business 40 years ago, there were about 50 companies that control 80% of all of our media, and that's news, uh, sports, movies, books, and radio. Of course, there was no internet at that time. Today, about six, roughly six to seven companies control 80% of all of our media, and that includes internet access. Six or seven companies. Now, as a small businessman in the world of giants, this concerns me, uh, and it should concern all of you. Now, um, I'm really not here to sing a lot of any one company or, or question their motives. As was mentioned, their motives are pretty simple, to make as, many, as much profit as possible by dominating their particular field. And from what we've seen on television lately, I don't think quality and diversity is too high on their list. Um, you know, it's funny, when I, when I watch the news lately, especially news that's coming from the Hill, I often see people in these halls uh, representing certain districts across the country, and whenever they have their few minutes in front of the camera, they always talk about how the economy will survive and has survived all these years based on the backs of small business owners. They never seem to talk about the major corporations being the reason for success. As always, we, we're based on the small business owners. Well, I'm a small business owner. And my future earning power right now seems to be related to open, accessible, uh, and open, accessible internet. Uh, as an independent content creator, uh, I cannot survive, really, without access to an audience that is now more than any other time accessing their content through new forms of media, whether it be an iPod or the new iPad, you name it. If I'm going to create content, I have to get it on these systems in order to survive. And who controls this? As I mentioned, six or seven gatekeepers. And I haven't seen Wall Street today, so I don't know if it's five, but uh, <laughs> somebody may have bought somebody else since we've been talking. But as he mentioned, uh, these are gatekeepers, or as they're called in the, in the business when it comes to the internet, internet service pr providers. Um, if they control what kind of content that they will allow through their pipe, or how much of it, or the size of it, whether it be a movie or a small, uh, something you see on YouTube, then this is very dangerous. It's not only dangerous as a business model, <coughs> it's dangerous as a model for creative freedom, which is what I'm concerned about. As I adjust my business model to try to compete in this, in this growing market, media market, uh, I decided to travel a little bit and see what other companies, small people like myself, are doing in other places in the world. And I just returned uh, from England, where I was over for a few weeks, talking to some small uh, producers who have their own little studios. They're producing content. I wanted to know how they were surviving in this uh, broadband world. And one of the things that I was surprised at is that in England, about 60% of all the television programming that is sent through the airwaves sent through broadband, and the broadband is, um, is the main way of accessing the audience for these small businesses, and they compete right alongside the Sky Satellite Systems and the BBC. They're all competing for the interests and the viewerships that, uh, that the viewers that they are, are trying to reach with their content. Um, and one other thing that I find very interesting is that they do this through broadband, and their broadband is a lot faster than ours, and the pipe is a lot larger. Uh, these small companies now are surviving and forming new kinds of models, some of which I certainly would like to uh, model my company after. So I really speak on behalf, <coughs> very brief, on behalf of a small, independent uh, business person who's in the field of creating content, trying its best to survive by getting it to its audience, and right now, the internet seems to be the most viable uh, distribution ma uh, model that we have for anyone in that does what I do. And I'll be open for questions. 